Hey friends, hope you all are doing well and taking great care of yourselves. In this video, we are going to talk about Chat GPT and how Chat GPT can help us dealing in income tax proceedings, drafting our reply in income tax proceedings. So it would be helpful to all who have supported political parties by giving them donation and now they want to write their reply without seeking the help of a consultant and they want to write a, re a professional reply. This can be helpful to them as well. This can be helpful to a chartered accountant, a tax practitioner. This can be helpful to a lawyer in drafting the submission for their clients. And let us see how this can be written. I have tried it multiple times before recording this video. I would also try in this video, I will run the same query. You would number one find that every time they give me a reply designed exclusively for me it is not that they are giving me a particular sample taken from anywhere and they are designing the reply for me they also rely they also uh, uh, you know provide the supporting judgments on which one can rely so of course i am not commenting upon that whether this judgment which they are rely which relied by the chat gpt are correct or not but then once again the chat gpt provides me the judgment meaning thereby if I do not want to, I, 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 I am a person who want to argue case on my own before the income tax proceedings. I do not want to appoint a counsel. If I can run a query effectively, then a very professionally drafted reply would be available. Whether the reply would be 100% correct or not, we cannot trust it as of now. But then, yes, the reply is nicely drafted. One can definitely try this out. At least, at least a chartered accountant, a lawyer, can surely use this tool as an assistant because in a quick moment we'll get the replies ready of course when the citation comes we have the text man we have the text publishers we have the text sutra we can try this out a citation over there and we can check that whether the citation is correct or not this can definitely be tried so we as a consultant we as a text professional we as a chartered accountant can definitely cross check quickly but then if somebody is going ahead without uh, seeking the help of a chartered accountant then to that limited extent there may be a risk that the judgment quoted by the chat gpt may not be the exact judgment or may not be the sacrosanct judgment but then yes normally the reply written are very nicely let us quickly check few reply and let us see how it goes i'll try four five replies and let us see how it quickly goes and let us see how it can help me Yes, we are on chat GPT portal and let us see quickly. I have tried this many times. So let me uh, run a query. Now see to it that the first query I am writing for a political party. I will run this query. I will say that write a submission to assessment unit National Faceless Assessment Center, New Delhi. That the donation made by my client Mr. XYZ pan number dash amounting to rupees 2 lakh to Apnade's party cannot be treated as bogus relying on the statement of a third party without giving the SSC an opportunity of cross-examination. More precisely, when the SSC has submitted donation receipt and bank statement, please also quote relevant judgments in support of the submission. This is the query I have run. I am running this query again. So this is the reply I got when I run a query. Now again I am running this query. Let's say, let us see what happens. We'll compare, we'll check both the replies as well. This and this. And mind it, this is absolutely free. No charges for this. See the reply is getting drafted. Quickly, let's say the reply is getting ready for us. We have just given the command. We have just enter the query precisely and see to it that the reply is getting ready for us an absolutely professionally drafted reply as i mentioned only one disclaimer the judgments and the citation quoted here needs to be cross examined to ensure that we are not being caused any damage on account of quote, on account of quoting wrong citation or a citation which has been quoted is the exactly the same which should have been quoted so that call needs to be taken so apart from that now see to read the reply now let's read the reply to the assessment unit national faceless assessment center new delhi subject submission in response to notice under section 148 of the income tax act dated so and so pan number dash assessment year dash respected sir ma'am i am writing the submission on behalf of my client dash with reference to the above mentioned notice the notice is issued to your by your good office under section 147 of the income tax act 1961 proposing to treat the donation of risk to like made by my client to apna party as bogus 
The reasons mentioned in the notice that a third party has stated that the donation was not made by my client and no evidence has been provided by my client. Yeah, this is something that needs to be rectified that the donation made by client was written back in cash. So that is something that needs to be uh, corrected. This needs to be ed edited and no evidence has been provided by my client to prove otherwise. However, it is pertinent to note that my client has submitted the donation receipts and bank statement clearly showing the transfer of funds to Apna this party. Furthermore, the notice is based solely on the statement of a third party without giving my client an opportunity of cross-examination which is violation of principle of natural justice. It is well established principle of the law that the evidence of a third party cannot be accepted without giving an opportunity of cross-examination to the affected party. In support of the submission, we would like to draw the attention of the judgment of the Honorable Supreme Court in the case of Kisan Chan Chelaram. Now, this is the correct judgment, let me tell you. Kisan Chan Chelaram, wherein it has been held that the evidence of the third parties cannot be relied upon without giving an opportunity of cross-examination to the affected party. Further, the Honorable Supreme Court in the case of Dakesh Sorry, the Dakeshwari Cotton Mills, I'm extremely sorry if I wrongly pronounced, the Dakeshwari Cotton Mills has held that no addition can be made solely on the basis of a suspicion, conjectures and surmises. Therefore, we request your good office to withdraw the proposal to treat the donation as bogus and accept the same as genuine transaction made by my client. We also request your office to provide an opportunity to cross-examine the third party whose statement has been relied upon, failing which the proposal to treat the donation as bogus would be a violation of principle of natural justice. Now look at this the way the letter is drafted. Now let me quickly take you to the reply which I got when I filed this query when I when I tried this query earlier. I mean just a 15 minutes back from now to the assessment unit national fiscal assessment under New Delhi submission regarding the donation of made by uh, XYZ pen number dash to Apna this party. Respected sir madam I am writing on behalf of my client so and so in response to a notice issued by your good office the notice to deny the claim of donation of Mr. Dash to Apna this party amounting to this 2 lakh and treat it as bogus solely on the basis of a statement made by a third party without giving my client an opportunity of cross-examination. We would like to submit that the donation made by my client to Apna this party is a genuine transaction and has been duly supported by donation receipt and bank statement. The mere statement of a third party cannot be the sole base to reject a genuine claim of the donation by my client. It is well established law by a various high court and supreme court so you can see that it is absolutely differently drafted. The judgments are different. Over there the uh, the judgment supplied were different here the judgment is absolutely different one both the judgments right now that we are having both are absolutely different judgments meaning that's what i'm trying to tell you that it is not the case that they are finding out a sample they are drafting this reply for us they are drafting this reply for us only we need to check check that whether the citation which is being relied upon whether the citation is correct or not we need to just check out that citation if the citation is correct if the if the the, the ratio which has been quoted here by chat gpt if the actual ratio is the same then we are good to go so for a chartered accountant or a lawyer who are really aware about the judgment who would have repeatedly read the judgment for them it, it would be very much easy let me also take you let me also show you one more query you would really like this now i am writing this later you can see as act as an advocate and write a request to chairman cbdt for condoning the delay using the powers available under 1192b of the income tax act in submission of form number delay in submission of form number 10b which is attributable to erroneous understanding of the ca that the due date of filing form number 10b and the return of income both were extended to 7 november 2022 also quote relevant judgments of high court and supreme court of india so this is the query which i have run this is the reply i got so I'm, uh, this is the reply, absolute reply, the request uh, which is being made to condone a delay, absolutely professionally drafted. As I mentioned, you need to only cross check the judgment, but then otherwise it is available. See to it that the judgments are available, they have relied on the judgments. I would like to bring to your attention that the Honorable Supreme Court of in the case of so and so, and Honorable Delhi High Court in the case of so and so, have held that in cases of genuine hardship, the provisions of 1192B of the Act can be invoked condoning the delay in filing the return. Let us try again this and let us see what happens. See, again I tried. They are drafting the reply for me. So it is available. So the thing which otherwise taking great amount of time, otherwise I may have to go and search a judgment and then to find out the judgment which is by, by benefited, which, which will really be benefiting to me or not. Now this judgment is quickly available. Now see the judgment is a new judgment now, over there the judgment was different. This is the once again a new judgment they are coming up. So every time, I mean the, the, the team, the chat GPT probably working hard, I may try this, see the enclosures, absolutely different way in which they have drafted the letter. So you can you know figure out that how to really do this. Now the question would arise, ye chat GPT use kaise karna hai? 
और कहां से कहां तक यहां पर पहुंचना कैसे तो यू कैन सिंपली राइट इन गूगल चैट जीपीटी द चैट जीपीटी वुड बी अवेलेबल स्ट्रेट वे फॉर योर बेनिफिट यस यर यू कैन से ट्राई चैट जीपीटी यू आर हियर वाई यू आर सींग ट्राई चैट जीपीटी करेक्ट एंड दिस स्क्रीन इज अवेलेबल यू कैन राइट अ क्वेरी नाउ बेसिकली आई हैव ऑलरेडी लॉक्ड इन हियर सो यू आई एम स्ट्रेट वे टेकन टू दिस स्क्रीन but if you are new user you will be taken to a screen where you would be asked to create your login id and password which is which you can do it in a very quick moment an otp would be sent on your email id and mobile number and you have to verify that and you are good to go so this is what i wanted to share uh, with you all in this video that how this chat gpt can be of great help and benefit to us in drafting the replies so even you can try an adjournment later i have tried adjournment later over there they are drafting it very professionally if they can draft a later when there is a delay to con when when they have to make a delay con uh, request condoning a delay uh, in filing of form number 10b or when they have to write a reply treating the donation claim as genuine obviously uh, the 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 reply which is being which, which is the reply which is being written or sorry the adjournment letter which is to be issued to itat a particular bank is going to be drafted nicely i tried this i think this must be of some benefit to you thank you very much for being with me if you have any share if you have any suggestions if you have any 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 advices suggestions as regards how this videos can be made more useful to you or the subjects on which you want my video please do let me know it would always be a pleasure to be with you and deliberating with you on various interesting topics and subjects thank you very much wish you all a great time ahead